Welcome once again to Smooth Flavors. I'm Oscar Osbo. A great lineup today. Got some great hosts to help me out here. I've got Deborah Casamata, Peter Tripp. It's just going to be a fun evening. I think we're going to even hear from Mr. Scott Rosema, the uh, artistic talent in the Muskegon area. So that's all coming your way, and it's all right here on Smooth Flavors. So you got to stay here and listen. If you're ready, let's get going. It's Smooth Flavors. All right, we're talking right now with Noah. And I'm in awe. I'm an off. Hi, Noah. Hello. And I won't, won't even try to pronounce your name again because we can't do it. We already found that fact out, right? Uh-huh. I can, say, I can tell you. It's Achinoa Manini is my full name. Do so you, like, spit on people, though, when you do that or no? Oh, Oscar. I'm sorry. I, I, it was there. I couldn't, I couldn't resist. <laughs> well, I have to tell you no. a funny story, okay? Okay. I once did a concert in, in Toronto for about 2,000 travel agents. And I was really afraid of, you know, how it would work out and everything. And But the, the, their reactions were wonderful. And the guy who was, who was um, emceeing was, was trying to, um, he, when he introduced me at the beginning of the show, he couldn't say my name no matter what. And I went over it with him a million times. This is before I came up with the shortened version of Noah. And my partner's name is Gildor. So he would say, and let's give a warm welcome to Aurora and Gildor. <laughs> That's all he can manage. So I figured maybe I would try to sort of make the, the name a little easier. And, and when I went, came back for an encore, the, the audience was all enthusiastic. They were all up on their feet. And I said, this is the time to try to have them maybe be able to say my name. So I said, well, when someone comes up to you and, and says a name like Achinoa, the first thing you say is, ah. Oh, and you're in shock. You're like, oh, my God, what is that? And then you try to tackle the most, the most difficult part. And you say, well, that's and you go over it a bunch of times, and then after a while you get really depressed and you think, no, no, that's never going to work. But then, you know, you, you know that's a girl's name. you got to try and say it. So, so you think, well, um, so you have, ah, he, no. Oh, um, you should be, you should be uh, doing it. You, you should, no. Um. <laughs> so, so the whole the, the audience is all psyched and they clap hands and they're all laughing. And then I do my little encore, and then the guy comes back on stage and says, "Let's give a warm thanks, a heartfelt thanks to our guest, Rue and Gildor." <laughs> and I'm like, "No way, that's gonna work." <laughs> no works for us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and if you're gonna do that that part over again a few times, I would listen to it over and over again. Okay. <laughs> You have a fan for life. Oh, oh definitely. <laughs> <laughs>
Listening to Oscar Osbo. Don't wanna close my eyes. I don't wanna fall asleep. Cause I'd miss you, babe. And I don't wanna miss a thing. No, no, stick. I, I really don't think that the animal cracker qualifies as a cracker. Well, because it's sweet, which to me suggests cookie and putting cheese on something is sort of the defining characteristic of what makes a cracker a cracker. I don't know why I thought of that. I just... Baby, you have such sweet pillow You got like little animal cracker Discovery Channel thing. Watch the gazelle as he grazes through the open plains. <laughs> now look. As the cheetah approaches, watch as he stalks his prey. Yeah, the gazelles look spooked. And he could head north. To the madness peaks above. <laughs> Could go south. The gazelle now faces man's most perilous question. North. So, way down. Tune in next week. Baby, do you think it's possible that anyone else in the world is doing this very same thing at this very same moment? No, I'm sorry. Otherwise, what the hell are we trying to say?
You're going to push the button because I'll tell you what, the world is still waiting for the sunrise. Yeah. Dear one, the world is waiting for the sunrise. Every rose is covered with dew. And while the world is waiting.
Now, does that upset you oh, at, at all as far Jeez, as... your claws, Greg. <laughs> does that upset you at all? Because it, when you work so hard on a project to make, make the artwork look so real and so good, and then something like South Park can, can do so well? I mean, yeah, is that... Is Green that with an <laughs> Okay, all right. I uh, hope you enjoyed that interview with Scott Rosma. Here's Norman Brown in Breaking Out on Smooth Flavors. So the next song we're going to do is from uh, the Carpenters. The it was Carpenters. Only, um, they had quite a few number two hits. Yeah, and you decided that you didn't want to get slow for really? five songs. So. Yeah, because you had, like, five, what, five number two hits by the Carpenters? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five songs hit number two. By the Carpenters. By the okay. Carpenters. How many hits did they have anyway, by the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And he can count, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, anyway. We, uh, glad they didn't have 20. Yeah, we picked out this one. Uh, Superstar was always one of my favorites by The Carpenters. Number two and 71. Okay.
They had what five? They only made number two. Yeah. Here's Return to Innocence on Smooth Flavors.
just fine, youngster. I know we'll have this youngster back real soon, as soon as he polishes his act just a little bit. You're listening to Oscar Osbo. Virgil Kane is my name, and I drove on the Danville train. Till so much cavalry came and tore up the tracks again. In the winter of 65, we were hungry, just barely alive. I took the train to Richmond that fell. It was a time I remember oh so well. The night they drove old BC down, and all the bells were ringing. There goes the Robert E. Lee Now I don't mind I'm chopping wood And I don't care If the money's no good Just take what you need And leave the rest But they should never Have taken the very best The night They drove on this down And all the bells were ringing The night For me, I'm a working man, and like my brother before me, I took a rebel stand. Well, he was just 18, proud and brave, but a Yankee laid him in his grave. I swear by the blood below my feet, you can't raise the cane back up when it's in the Those were the 
doesn't have feelings. I have feelings. I have skin and bone. Hey, that's good. Hi, hi.
you for joining me for Smooth Flavors. I'm Oscar Oswald, and thanks to Deborah Casamata, Peter Tripp, and of course our very special guests, Scott Rosma and Noah, or as she would say. So I said, well, when someone comes up to you and says a name like, ah, oh, Noah, the first thing you say is, ah, shock. You're like, ah, oh, my God, what is that? And then you try to tackle the most, the most difficult part, and you say, well, that's see, see, and you go over to Butch, and you see. And then after a while, you get really depressed, and you think, no, no, I'm never going to want But then, you know, you know, it's a girl's name, you got to try to say it, so, so you think, well, oh, so yeah. Ah, hey, no. Just when I believed I couldn't ever want for more This ever-changing world Pushes me through another door not erase the beauty of your face just for a while won't you let me shelter you hold on to the night hold on to the That I could give you something more That I could be yours How do we explain Something that took us by surprise That is real but in disguise What happens now Till we break another rule Let our lovers play the fool I don't know how To stop Every time I look into your eyes, I'm helplessly aware that the someone I've been searching for is right. Well, when someone comes up to you and says a name like Achinoa, the first thing you say is, ah, shock. You're like, ah, oh, my God, what is that? And then you try to tackle the most, the most difficult part, and you say, well, that's see, see, and you go over to Butch, see, 
And then after a while, you get really depressed and you think, no, no, I'm never going to watch. But then. <laughs>